The Orinoquia region is one of the five natural reaches of Colombia that belongs to the Orinoco River Basin. It is mainly divided into two zones, the Orinoquia and the Eastern Plains, also known as Los Llanos Orientales. Orinoquia refers to the Orinoco River Basin, which extends from the Andes to the Amazon rainforest, while Los Llanos is characterized by cattle vegetation and large intertropical savannas. Its relief is flat with a warm, humid to dry climate, and the vegetation is composed of grasslands, scrub and forests. The soils are not very fertile and are suitable for extensive cattle raising. Villavicencio is the capital of the department of Meta and the most important commercial center of the Eastern Plains. Villao, as it is affectionately called, is characterized by the folklore and Janeiro's traditions. Those traditions will dazzle you with sports such as coleo, which is similar to a rodeo, joropo, a musical rhythm that uses instruments such as a harp and maracas, and the Horopo is danced to the rhythm of the Zapateo. In addition, you cannot miss the renowned gastronomy of the plains, composed of dishes such as mamona, hen stew, rice bread, cachama, mojarra, ayacas, and cachapas of tender corn. On the other hand, the Caño Cristales River in the vast Sierra de la Macarena Natural Park is undoubtedly the most remarkable river in Colombia and one of the most beautiful ones in the world. The Rainbow River owes its nickname to a special natural phenomenon in which the endemic aquatic plant Macarena claviguera is located at the bottom of the river, giving the water its red, blue, green, yellow and brown shape. The national park itself is also an iconic place. Located on the plateau of the Sierra de la Macarena, a natural reserve of 6,200 square kilometers, where no less than three different ecosystems come together. The Amazon rainforest, the Andina forests and the savanna of Los Llanos. Mesetas is one of the hidden gems of the Meta department. The destination has its Gueja River Canyon where you can go rafting. The nature is still quite untouched and it is a beautiful place full of wonderful rock formations, giant natural pools and waterfalls along the way. You can visit Charco Azul, a private reserve where the Garilla used to be active. A very interesting destination with a lot of history. Perfect to add to your trip if you love adventure and if you're curious about the history of the violence in Colombia. Another department of the Orinoquia region is Casanare, a vast savanna crisscrossed by muddy rivers where cowboys called Llaneros herd their huge herds of cows on horseback. A region where at sunset the Llaneros sing to the accompaniment of a harp and where a big amount of wildlife inhabits the plains, from caimans to jaguars. Casanare is an unforgettable experience. If you love hiking in nature, wildlife photography and rafting, you also have to visit Bichada, the wonderful destination of many mighty rivers which you will fall in love upon arrival. Our recommendation is El Tuparo National Nature Park and the area close by. The territory extends over an area of 5,480 square kilometers and it is bounded by the Tomo River to the north and the Tuparo River to the south. El Tuparo is an extensive green savanna crossed by large rivers with powerful streams and beaches. If you like bird watching, in this region the presence of more than 320 different species of birds is estimated, all for you to enjoy its great diversity. In the protected natural reserve of La Aurora, you can take a four-wheel drive safari over the savanna to observe wildlife and birds. Enjoy a walk through the reserve with lots of wildlife to see capybaras, wild horses, toucans and monkeys. Or go fishing in one of the rivers where the catch is eaten and roasted over a fire on the river bank. Go horseback riding or just learn about the Janeiro tradition. If you want to know more about this beautiful region, please don't hesitate to contact us. De Una Colombia Tours, creating unforgettable experiences.